Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft have started rolling out their latest version of the PowerToys utility app, version 0.60.0, and we've been bumped up from version 59.1 to version 60 in this latest release. And if you are running the app, as always, you can just click on check for updates, which will update the app automatically. And if you are, are unaware what PowerToys and the app does, um, it's a set of utilities for power users to tune and streamline their Windows experience for greater productivity. And the app is available for both Windows 10 and 11 users, available for download from the Microsoft Store. Now, Microsoft makes mention um, that they are focusing on stability and other improvements with the rollout of version uh, 60. And there are one or two improvements which I think Windows 11 users might find of interest in this latest update uh, to the app. Now, uh, just to mention those key highlights quickly, um, apparently power rename and image resizer now appear on the new Windows 11 context menu. And if you're unaware, image resizer lets you resize images by right clicking on an image. And power rename uh, is a Windows shell extension for more advanced bulk renaming using search and replace or regular expressions. And you will see here now with power rename after this update, uh, it says, it gives you a couple of options here. You can hide the icon in the context menu by checking the box if you don't want it to appear in the Windows 11 context menu. And you have options now, default and extended context menu or just appearing in the extended context menu only. So if we just head over to an image just to um, just demonstrate this, if I right click, you will see now in the Windows 11 context menu, they've added um, the uh, power rename as mentioned, and the image resizer, where previously those were only available in the classic context menu, like they are currently uh, in the Windows and on the Windows 10 operating system in the classic context menu. So now for Windows 11 users, those two options, power rename and resize pictures are now available in the Windows 11 context menu, which might be handy um, if you do use the those two um, utilities and Windows 11. And then the other improvement uh, mainly for Windows 11 users, is that always on top, uh, which uh, is a quick and easy way to pin windows on top of each other. Um, apparently, always on top now uses rounded corners for highlighting rounded windows on Windows 11. So those are the improvements for Windows 11 users. And then there are uh, two improvements for the PowerToys Run. And PowerToys Run... Uh, is a quick launcher that has additional capabilities without sacrificing performance. And just to demonstrate, if you don't know what that is, we just go Alt and Space, and that will open up the uh, PowerToys Run um, utility. And the first improvement there, um, they say there's a new PowerToys Run plugin for OneNote. Now, I don't use OneNote, but if you are, you can now access that by using the OneNote plugin using PowerToys Run. And they've also added settings to PowerToys Run to better control the query results order. And then uh, the final um, key highlight just to mention is regarding fancy zones, which uh, lets you create window layouts to help make multitasking easy. And this is very similar to the snap layouts you get over um, on Windows 11. And fancy zone now uses a new zone identification with monitor ID to increase stability and avoid zone resets. And those are the key highlights that have rolled out with version 0.60.0. .0. And then over and above that, um, the, the, the other tools like the keyboard manager, mouse utility, always on top, and file explorer add-ons have, have also um, received um, improvements, tweaks, and add-ons. And if you'd like to get to the release notes to have a more in-depth look at what actually did roll out with all the improvements and fixes, and this will take you over to GitHub where Microsoft maintains and develops PowerToys. And I've mentioned the highlights. And just take note here that um, after installing PowerToys, the Windows 11 new context menu entries for Power Rename and Image Resizer may not appear before I restart. And I actually had to restart my device um, to get those to appear in the context menu. And then over and above that, you've got some other known issues, which if you are running the app, you can just read up and about by coming to the release notes. And then as mentioned, most of the other utilities have received um, some kind of improvement or fix or add-on. And that's more or less what's new in version 0 0.60.0 now of the new uh, update to the PowerToys utility app. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.